What up, Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you another marquee matchup. Uh, they've done this relatively early, and that's because they accidentally uh, actually put this on last week and then had to quickly remove it. So I already knew what the requirements were, so I built that last week. And uh, this one's the only really difficult one. There's another one that could be a little bit more expensive than usual, but this one will be expensive because... Uh, oh, maybe not. Oh, they've changed it. Alright, you don't need the extra nationalities, which uh, I had last time, so actually this one could be really, really cheap. You only need one Melbourne City plus Melbourne uh, Victory player. All of them have to be Hyundai A-League players, so yeah, actually I could I could just get a bunch of um, bronzes. I don't need all these other nationalities. They've changed that because originally you needed, uh, I think it was four different nationalities. Um... Mine was automatically registered. What was weird is when I came on to this marquee matchups, uh, my, my squad that I used last week was already there. So uh, I didn't have to change anything. This was already done for me. So uh, yeah, I just think they put it offline because it saved all my changes. But anyhow, right. Uh, I might as well use that. Um, might as well use that. Uh, oh, maybe not. Okay, I need one of these players at least. I'm just trying to make this as cheap as I possibly can, just by getting rid of some of the other cards, because you don't even, you don't even need any, like, high-rated players or anything. Like this is really, really easy. So yeah, I'm happy. You could get this for a lot cheaper, but I'm just using things that are in my club. So you could probably get this for like 3k, absolute max. Can't imagine it being too much more than that. Last week, however, it probably would have cost you 20k, but. Uh, the next one, Manchester City versus Arsenal, probably the most expensive one just because you need an 82 rated team. Now, there is an abundance of Arsenal players and uh, Man City players. All of them have to be rare, however, and uh, yeah, it obviously has to be 82 rated. So, yeah, to be honest, it shouldn't even cost you too much anyway because there's so many high rated Premier League players. So, you should be able to pick them up for really, really cheap. But this is the team that I've used. I've got Valdez and Net. Uh, then we've got Coleman, who's untradeable. A lot of these players are untradeable for me, or I've packed. Uh, Fonte, Huth, Monreal, McCarthy, Fernando, Zaha, Walcott, Bojan, and Zaza up front. So uh, that's probably going to cost you 10k, like 15 absolute max. You could, you could probably get that for cheaper, and you do get a prime players pack, which usually are shit for me, and you also get 2.5k, so that's definitely worth it. The Melbourne City Victory one I don't think is worth it, unless you want to complete the full set, because it's uh, a rare pack, which is basically one rare, 12 items, a mixture of gold, silvers, and bronzes. This one's extremely cheap. You don't need rare players. You only need one Everton, one Liverpool player, as usual, so I've used Mignolet there. It's pointless showing you the value of them because you can just go out and search yourself and get the cheapest Liverpool, the cheapest Everton player you can find. But I've used Mignolet, uh, this digi, digi guy um, from Watford. You need a minimum of five nationalities, but that's a piece of piss because there's just so many in the Premier League. Got Delaney, Furnus Mori, uh, Van Anholt. Again, a lot of these are untradeable for me. Coyote, Barini, Drinkwater, Ward Prowse, Son, and Long. You don't need uh, any rating stipulations, they just have to be gold. So, uh, a very, very easy one there for a 15k pack, I think, so that's not too bad. You should easily be able to get that done for 7.5 to 10k. And then this one, which again, very easy. You need a Bayern Munich player. I think uh, I bought mine ages ago. Like, Rafinha is probably going to be more than some of the rares, um, purely because people. Oh, he's not. He's like a K anyway, so yeah, that's easy. And you need an RB lip sync player, so I've got Forsberg. That might be expensive, uh, these players, because there's not too many. But uh, they're not even expensive. 1K, so you should be able to get this done for 7.5 to uh, 10K as well. So we've got uh, Hits, Rafinha, Moria, Tar, Ozpiki, I think, uh, Forsberg, Castro, Latza, Metmedi. Uh, Vin Bogusan and Voland to complete that so yeah really really easy marquee matchups if I'm honest and uh, definitely worth it like for all four of those combined you're probably spending 30 to 40k so yeah and you get a rare gold pack I think I think that's a 25k pack but uh, we'll, we'll see we'll open them and uh, we'll see if it's been value for money for me uh, the old players pack, which are just the worst packs you can get, in my opinion. Like, the chances of you getting something really good in these are very, very slim. 
Azaria is a fucking bronze. How predictable was that? I know I had a couple of silvers that might have went for a little bit there, but uh, I'm just storing that all in the club. So, yeah, that's actually really, really good at the minute. 15k pack next. Uh, there's team in the group stage out. I do want to pack one. I haven't packed one as of yet. <laughs> oh, I thought we got Fonte back, but no, that was a, a really poorly rated centre-back. Alves there. We do get a silver Leicester player, but I don't think he's really going to go for a lot, so we'll just discard that. Move on to the 25k pack. Please be something good. It's a shit flare. That's going to be Masmitovic, I think. The Napoli Serbian centre-back. So that wasn't very good, but we've got two decent packs left. So, you know, my hopes are high to get something good. Uh, that was a really quick one. Um, and again, not a good flare there. Uh, Agbona, I think I traded him in actually. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we've got him back. Oh, no, I haven't. But um, pack value-wise, they're definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. But so far, it hasn't been worth it for me. And, yeah, that, I mean, wow. That's, that's ridiculous. We finish off with Ganzo. So, although the packs are really good, what I got in the packs was fucking shit so hopefully you can get a bit better this guy might sell for a bit usually the brazilian left backs do okay maybe not so i'll just i'll wait because they eventually will go for something because they're different leagues but anyhow hopefully you have enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already like the video and yeah peace